Mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back in the building for another episode of the hottest podcast out here in the United States. Matter of fact, we're going global with this thing. I'm going to say <laughs> it's the hottest podcast in the world right now. Hey, let's you know claim what I mean? We're going to claim it? Claim Matter it. Matter of fact, it's the hottest podcast in the, in, the, in the whole universe right now. We hot on Mars right now. We just don't know it. They got Wi-Fi Thank on you. Mars? You think they got Wi-Fi on Mars? No. Mars. <laughs> we out here. Static Flow <laughs> Podcast. Back again. Episode six. six. That's right. Episode <laughs> six, y'all. Episode six. We are back for another one, man. We got a goal and we're going to reach it. Damn it. Yeah. We're going to reach that goal. Okay? For real, for real. Make sure you on the journey with us. Make sure y'all following us at uh, Static The Static Flow Podcast. Facebook. Yes. The Static Flow Podcast on IG. Yes. And Static Flow Podcast on YouTube. Yes. yes. Always hit the subscribe, hit the share, hit the follow. You see it. It's on the screen. All that. Like it. Do it. All of it. Okay. Get to it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Um, Shouts out to everybody watching us via live, Facebook too, and everything. And everybody that watches us on YouTube. What up with you? I am your host, Derek, AKA. You already know. You see it on the screen. Thank uh, you for not saying that. And I am Tika. A.K.A. T.K. In the building. T.K. What's happening? T.K. What's up? Baby, please. Yeah, you know I love to call you T.K. <laughs> T.K. It's all please. good. A lot to talk about. We got a lot to get into, man. A lot of things all have right. been happening over the past couple of days. Yeah, man. And um, some of them I'm not shocked. Some of them I am not shocked about at all. You not? Not at all. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean to be expected. You know, what I mean some of this stuff is to be expected. Oh gosh. So what are we about to do? We about to get it off your chest. All right. Hey. You got to lift it up. You got to pick it up, and you got to get it off there. You got to talk about it. You got to you got to chest it out. Time to do some chessing. Now, I mean, baby. All right. I can't make new words up. No. Yo, so Google that chessing. Put that Webster <laughs> dictionary. They still use dictionaries. The dictionary is online. So it's you can online. Make, yep, you can Isn't access that crazy? it online. Where's the dictionary? We about to make that episode. No, it's literally online. We don't got to talk about it no more. Yeah, I guess. What happened to the hardbacks? I, I encyclopedias. mean, I still have ones. Where the encyclopedias at? Get the encyclopedias. First of all, out. as soon as you printed an encyclopedia back in the day, it was immediately outdated. So we don't need that. Yeah, it encyclopedias was. are online too, as well. So damn crazy. Yes. Anyway, oh, tell them my age a little bit. Let's go with it. <laughs> Was Get it me? off your chest. First thing we want to talk about, Cardi and Offset. Man, Cardi and Offset. I'm going to just, I'm, I'm going to jump right in. I was a little surprised, right? Right. Because of the way people present themselves online. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I assumed based on the Instagram post that they were cool. You know, I hadn't seen them in a while. Everything was copacetic. You know, they were, they were cool, but obviously not. Mm-hmm. Obviously, uh, it's a lot going on, man. Hey, let me tell y'all real quick. I mean, let's just say what it is. Don't be fooled by Instagram Mm -hmm. and and Facebook and TikTok and OnlyFans and be fooled by all that. You can't be fooled by all that because trust and believe everybody is happy as they seem to be on their timeline. You know what I'm saying? Some places are darker than others, but... You know, everybody, sometimes you paint that picture. And it's just some some people, I guess, you root for. You know, they, they yeah, were. Yeah, a little bit. I was like, yeah, I like know, them. Like You, you kind of rooted for them. Like, yeah. just like with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Yeah. Like, they, I think yeah. they were the number one rooted for couple. Yeah, they had a baby. You, you know, know what I'm saying? They got a little family Come going on. on. It was yeah. working out. You know what I'm saying? But Offset was still out there slanging dangling. <laughs> so it ain't. <laughs> my bad. I didn't mean my bad. I just. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that's probably what he was doing. Well, and um, well, she already forgave him the first time. Yeah, let's just get let's just get you down to it. Let's it. unpack it Go a little unpack. bit right now. Let's um, unpack it. We already know. Well, Cardi made a statement. Matter of fact, let, let me let me read Cardi's statement that she Cardi actually said out here. Um, it's when I can get to my notes. Offset here. made a little offhand comment too, like something to the effect um, that he was getting the money still, or something like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she said, she said, well, Cardi actually said this, you know, and I want to make sure I quote her right. Um, she said, I've been trying to work things out with my baby's father for a hot minute now. Um, she said this on her Instagram page. She said, we're really good friends. Mm-hmm. We're really good business partners. Mm-hmm. And we've got a lot of love for each other. But just having, you know, been working things out between us, it's been a long time and it's not really working. She said, it's nobody's fault. I guess we just grew out of love. People can do that. But we're not together anymore. And then she also made on now. I, I really big up her next statement after that, where 
she actually let everybody know that she didn't want any spousal support. She yeah, just only she wants did. child support for their daughter. I mean, and as she that should be. And she wanted to give them joint custody. Of course. Why wouldn't she? That's big. That's Why major. She? Like, and on top of that too, I think a lot of a lot of celebrities gotta take a page out of their book so you won't get Dr. Dre out here. We're not even gonna go in. We know nope, You know what I'm saying? Nope, you gotta take a page out of that, that book. Because cause Cardi could really, you know, she could have been going for spousal support and all that. And then on top but, of that. But I mean she don't need spousal support. Yeah, of Usually she, that's the case where the wife or the husband not working or yeah. don't make as much money or can't keep up the lifestyle that they're accustomed but you know, to. You got some despiteful women out here and they just want to get the bag from you. Like, yo, you especially if he cheated. Because the rumor yeah. rumors already swirling that yeah. he was still cheating and got caught up again and she just was like, Okay, I'm not gonna forgive you for this one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this But brings, some people just want to be out, don't want nothing to do with that person. Just let me be free. Yeah, Tina Turner. There she it didn't is. want nothing. She, she just, just wanted her name. Give me my name. name. That's it. Give me my name, just, y'all. And I worked too hard for it. <laughs> nope. The name stays here. The name stays here. The name got my daddy blood on it. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> my name the name stays here. Name stays here. She can go. She can go. But um, but let me just say this too. This this draws up another one, ladies, and I know y'all hate to hear it, and this might start an argument in here with us, but I gotta say it. And I gotta I gotta keep it true for all men. This shows that the capacity for men, like it doesn't matter who you with. Beyonce's been cheated on, Rihanna's been cheated on, Cardi B's been cheated on. Mm-hmm. She's been rapping about the wow. Remember they couldn't believe the Halle Berry was cheated on by yeah, Eric come on, people was like, like, oh my god. You know what I'm that. saying? Mm-hmm. So this goes to show you, man, like there's no woman out here above being cheated on, no matter what her status is, no matter what kind of celebrity or star that you paint them to be. And of course, she might be every man's fantasy that's never met Cardi or been around her. But, you know, to offset, she's Cardi B. Like I see her every day. She's in my face. She might be annoying. She might be doing stuff. She might get on his nerve. You know, she might be one of the people that squeeze the toothpaste in the middle and mess the toothpaste bottle up. And then now you got to squeeze the bottom and squeeze it up from the top just to get toothpaste out. You know, she might be, you know, irritating like that. I mean, what do you, I think, mean, you think about that, that? That may be true, but the way you said it when you were just like any woman can be cheated on. And yeah, I, I don't anybody. disagree with that, anybody. but it don't have nothing to do Beyonce with got when a man cheats on a woman or a woman cheats on a man. It don't have nothing to do with the person who's cheated on. It has to do with that person who is doing the cheating. So, Dude, what do you mean? So, it got something to do with Offset? Yes. Yeah, he wasn't ready. Yeah. He wasn't ready. He was trying yeah. to be ready, but you got to big him up for trying to be ready, though. No, you don't. See, you got to big him to, up for trying to, to be. Either you, you is or you ain't, and ain't no in between. Like, don't be trying to fake yourself out and shit. Like, you, if you know and you. That man knew in his heart of hearts when he said I do that he wasn't all the way ready and committed. He thought he was. No, though. he didn't. He thought he, he did was. Not. He felt like that. He, he did was not. like, yo. And a lot of dudes get caught up once they make babies and they have a once they put a baby in a female, they be like, yo, man, I want I'm gonna try and be with her. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and, and I'm so trying. glad you said that. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna try to do this. It's try not to be with her. It's not a try. Cause once that happens, when you really want something, the try word goes out the window. It's I want this not i'm going to try it's this is what i want but that's what your body and your mind be telling you at the moment but then once you're in it you like yo i really didn't want this you know sometimes you don't that's like food sometimes you don't know you don't want that food until you taste it come on train that was a great joint it was let me say it one more time sometimes you don't know if you want that food until you taste it so now that he's tasted cardi b he's like yo i thought this is what i wanted to be my main course for the rest of my life and it's not and he was still out there getting some side pieces, some sides. What is, your, get it sides. what is your final say for Cardi and Offset? What you Cardi and Offset? Hey, man, hey, as long as it's going to be a good break, clean break, they're going to mm-hmm. do the joint custody thing. And yes. she not asking for spousal support. She's right. like, Yo, just give me some money for the baby yeah. and we good to go. So I got to big up Cardi for that because I'm pretty sure they thought she was going to act hood and, and ghetto and be like, yeah, I'm going to get all this money. I'm going to do this and that. And yeah. she on some smooth stuff. But then it draws a question for me. Like, what is it about Cardi B that wasn't satisfying to offset that he just couldn't be with that one joint? Like, is Cardi really got the wet, 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 wet See what I'm it's saying? You're putting it back on Cardi. <laughs> like, it may not have I, nothing I, I, I'm to I'm not do. saying it. I'm he, just saying. Listen, Cardi could have been the best sexual partner Offset has ever had in his life. Right. 
but maybe he just he like different flavors. It don't may it may not have nothing to do with Cardi. So stop putting it on. I'm, I ain't put, I'm not putting it on Cardi. He he's been he just yo you first off they young and you yeah, and they Hollywood young. They're, they're super young. like come on. But even Holly wasn't young. She yeah. got cheated on. He, she was kind of up there already. Ooh. When Eric Benet cheated. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he said so he, he had can't a really sexual addiction. It's just about Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did say he liked to sling. All right, listen. Sling some dick. Um, get it off your chest topic, too. And this is in the same realm of what same we're talking realm. about. Because it's, it's, everybody's but, falling but, apart. But this one, this one, this should have been gone. I, I think with this All one right here. Right, Ray's my guy. Ray J's my guy. That's my guy. Matter of fact, he's going to pop up on the screen. Me and Ray going to pop up on the screen. I'm going to put a throwback pick up right now, me and Ray. On the screen. Raise my guy. So press. Anyway. Raise my guy. And Ray J and Princess. Yeah. You know, this this Divorce. is this long time coming. This Let is me one just of them long time this. coming stories. Their relationship. <laughs> and again, I only know what they show us That's on right. their reality show. I only know what I see on um, social media. Right. They have been toxic for a while now. Super, super And toxic. they super have toxic. just tried to make it work. And to your point, they got two kids now. Yeah, babies. So he's probably like, okay, this, I got a family. I got to try to do this. I'm, yeah, I got to try to make it work. But obviously not. So a while ago, when that whole fiasco about her saying that um, he left her in Vegas. Right. She went home and filed for a divorce, but I think they just let it be for a yeah. while. They didn't go, they yeah. didn't move forward with you know it. I mean? So now Ray J has filed for a divorce. That's and right. Princess said that she found out about the, the divorce via social media. So yeah, she no didn't, doubt. She didn't even know it was no coming. Doubt. Now let, let's let's quote Ray right All now. Right. Ray J said, "Yo, he did. He said he didn't talk to anybody. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't get any advice from anybody. Mm -hmm. That was a decision on Monday that he just strictly made himself. Okay. He said, you know, he said, I just." I mean, it's it's, a, it's so many quotes right here from from uh, Ray J. You know what I'm saying? He said, I didn't talk to anybody before filing for divorce on Monday, yeah. despite trying to make, you know, the relationship work. Mm -hmm. He said, well, let me quote this thing just right. It was just how I felt at the time. I didn't really talk to anybody. I went to God while the divorce filing, you know, just to get everything done and, and, and so forth and so on because the relationship wasn't working out. He said, you know, just he said he just felt like it was time to really just call it quits. Um, he I, said I, the main thing is he said she knows that I love her I love my babies uh -huh. he said it, it's just it's personal he said she knows how I feel about her he explained he said I think that I want to make sure that everybody is happy everybody yeah. enjoys life mm -hmm. and that he can help her smile more and enjoy yeah. who she is and enjoy her life and you know sometimes the the, the best things you know I mean just, just to do is to just call it quits can so that's where Ray's at right now. Well, let me you know just I mean? say something. And I that's respect his at. statement. And that, that sounds all yeah, sunshines and flowers. Like, yeah. yes, he wants her to be happy. But so in so many words, he's saying that he can't be that man to make her happy. Because I feel yeah. like well, from, yeah. Yeah, that, from social that. media and all the other stuff, she wanted to be married to him. Like, she wanted that mm, family. And it yeah. just seems like he tried, but he wasn't ready. I mean, he did dump in that pool that time on 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 the show sir we are talking about when they're married now. i know my bad i just, just thought about we dumped in that pool we kind of clipped her up dumped her in the pool a little bit but um i mean i, I think it's a long time coming i mean we, I, I, they, they, they file but they, this is not the first time so I, with her with ray j and princess you never know they they right. might change their mind final this time for some reason you think so? i don't know you think ray is there he's he's done i think both of them are i think they I yeah think they, and I they think need they, to go ahead they, they yeah. kind of toxic for each other yeah. like Very. this time just just try yeah. to co-parent figure it out yeah. and do your in-between things you know what i'm saying so we, we wish them the best ray j and princess yeah. we wish them the best and it's co-parent man figure it out all right yeah. what's who the last person all right last off? get it off your chest right all right i hate that we're talking about this but because it's timely and it is relevant yeah kanye west right he's now so irritating kanye to the kanye west is so annoying and i'm upset Yeezy. that we're talking about him yeah so he's on one of his um twitter rants. outburst rants mm -hmm. um and it's almost just like he just it's like brain farts whatever he's thinking it just yeah. comes out on twitter yeah. it's incoherent sometimes yeah, it's just one word sometimes yep. and you're like what what I want are apologies from about? j cole i want apologies from drake you know it's what I'm too saying? Much. And, and you know what? Kanye is his own worst enemy because yes. sometimes in all that bullshit ass gibberish, mm -hmm. it's like a real thing he's trying to say. Yeah. But none of that gets heard because it's, it's good because of all the noise around all that it. Yeah. Because be talking of all about. the other noise around it. I mean, I still ain't got over the hat and him hanging out with Trump and yeah. Make America Great Again. I, so I can't get past that still. Yeah, nah. So I really I, I don't try to keep up with too much of what I mean Kanye's doing. Um I I'm more so of a 
Kanye West fan of the past. Yeah, the early um, Kanye. Yeah, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So that's the part that, that lets me still gravitate and hold yeah. on to that, that. I don't. There's nothing with, that with, I, there's with Kanye. nothing I don't like about When I hear some old him. Kanye come on and lyrical, lyrical wise, you know, still, yeah. I still think he's one of the top dudes um, from what he's laid down in the path. But as far as what the help he needs now and everybody you know he's, he got worse after his mom passed away. As far as mentally, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know where him and Kim is at because they've been talking about divorce, too. So they're on the list of people to get divorced. But I just hope that that somebody can, you know, where, I don't I don't. How do you help a person that has everything? Because those are the hardest people to get to listen, because mm-hmm. he's a billionaire yeah. outside of him doing the crazy Twitter rants. He's a genius, you know, as far as marketing, like I mean, clothes. And genius. I mean, when it comes to music, clothes, fashion. I don't think he's a genius with and fashion. Producing. I mean, I music think, maybe. You know, fashion, I mean, but you got to no. remember he he did big with big with uh, what is it Adidas? But I don't think that's genius you know status. Saying? A lot of that is because he's a rapper and he already has know, a fan but, page but gotta, base, and people are gonna a, flock to whatever you put out. This man can put out that. some damn grass shoes, and people gonna buy it just based off of his, his name, name only. So yeah. I don't feel like that's a genius because think about it: hmm. all the shoes and all the clothes he's put out. That's not ground. He it's not innovative. He hasn't made nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's not. The Yeezys are anybody. I ain't never seen the Yeezys shoe like are that dope. Now I'm gonna say the the, the first on. round on, of Yeezys were dope, now. but I'm talking about like his clothes. Maybe his clothes yeah. look like yeah. rag. Yeah. It wasn't nothing innovative to me. And the yeah. shoes that he got now is terrible. But. but you know, he's a billionaire, and how do you tell a billionaire to do something? And especially when you have a team, because the team around you that yeah. you're paying, how many of got them is going yes to say men. no? They got a lot of yes men. men. You got to get a check in the pandemic, so you're gonna say yes to everything. Should I put some gasoline drawers on today? And yeah, oh yeah, put them on right there. Those are burn good. Those are burn good on you. So you know, it's it's that time. Everybody, we trying to hang on to Man, a job. He put his Grammy in the toilet and peed in on the it. pandemic. What's that mean? Hey man, he, hey, he, he not messing with the Grammys no more. I mean, but you know, we we've, we've had a gripe with the Grammys for a while. Yeah, I think so his I might, overall. So I might I might be with him a little bit on that one because overall, they haven't been showing us the respect that we deserve. That's true. On the Grammys, his overall argument was about the whole music industry why we don't own our own masters yeah. and we doing all this stuff yeah. and fighting amongst ourselves yeah. and then the white men in these buildings uh, don't, these that don't know our culture making yeah. decisions and then getting all the money getting all the that bread. is a great message but when he do stupid great shit message. it just gets clouded and you don't yeah, know what Kanye, you're talking you about that, you gotta figure that shit out you gotta figure out what you gonna do Kanye you gonna even talk crazy or talk good stuff or once you talk good stuff kind of and then he ran for tweeting. president but that's a whole nother that's just I can't I, I mean, but you but look. No. At, I mean, hey, we already no. we are. I'm not gonna give him any props on here, but we already know that the person we have in the White House now has changed the dynamic. And of that's why we're in a position where we don't need right nobody now. else from off the street who don't know what they're talking yeah, about I in mean, that position no more. You know what? Somebody go get my campaign papers. I'm up next. Oh God, let me we let's would get to really it. Really be in the damn. Let's get to it. We're gonna get this thing popping. We will okay? really be. We're gonna in a put bad a club place. in outer space. That's what we about to do. We're going to put a club in outer space. Oh, my <laughs> Let's goodness. Go. We're putting a club in outer space. Let's what's, what's your get it off get your chest it. for Kanye? What's your last? Um, get, you get, think? Hey, he needs somebody close to him to say no and somebody to, to take his cell phone from time to time. But I, I also think he needs the proper help. And, and you know what? He Maybe probably he needs medication. And he, you know, but you know his personality. He probably don't want to take yeah, it because it, him under the it makes his creativity yeah. go away. He's behind him under the mattress. Yeah. Hey, well, we already say that some of the smartest people are what? So, some of the big, <laughs> some of the, it's cool, y'all. We're going to look a little rough. This this episode right here, we, we had a rough day today, but we still jumped up in here to get on the podcast. But, uh, some you know, some of the smartest people, some of the most talented people. We always say that. We do say crazy that. They got, in the little, they got some stuff going on with them. A lot of shit with yeah. them. So good. All right? All right. But let's dig into our time. I know we spent a lot of time on that, but y'all, that was just a bunch of crazy stuff. It. We had to get into that. Yeah. We had to get into that. But uh, topic of the day. What are we getting into today? Topic of the day, you guys. What are we talking about? Sexual partners. All right. How many is too many? What? How many is too many when what you hear it? What is the deal breaker? To make you be like, what? Hell <laughs> no. And this is for females and males. Not, so. Yeah, this is for everybody. Everybody. This for everybody, okay? This yes. is for everybody. Now, ladies, I'm going to probably say some stuff on here that you ladies are not going to want to hear today, all right? But I'm going to put it out there, and you got to take it and run with it and understand it, that that's just what it is, okay? Now, I didn't make the rules. I didn't sit these rules that have been laid out, okay, for holifications and all of that stuff like that that's been going on. So I'm going to just let you start because I can't say so we can, I can't. I'm just, just saying, you know what I mean? I mean, but, I mean, let's just be real. 
Let, well, let me ask you a question first. Let me hear it. In 2020. Yes. Should numbers be a deal breaker now when you meet people considering where we are now mm-hmm. in 2020? Should, should how, how many people somebody been with even be a factor? Should that I think be a it's factor? a personal choice. Some people hold that in high regard. Right. Some people, and it's probably very few who are still waiting for that person to be married. Right. So they're the expectation is zero before right. them. Yep. Yep. So I respect that, but I don't think so. Like, look, shoot, it don't matter. You don't, you don't think numbers should matter? Good. But there's a but there's a connotation behind that though. Okay. So if Bust if down. if I came to you and you asked me and I said two hundred people, I mean that's that's a lot. That two hundred people is a lot of people. That's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. You know, I what don't I'm think saying? it should be a deal breaker because no, it, it it not. But you should be. What's that? The stuff they go get the Yanni steams. You definitely need to make some Yanni steam. Well, if you got Yoni. ladies, if Yoni, if you got two hundred bodies on you, ladies, get your Yoni. Get the extra strength Yanni steam. Done right now. Well, you, what you do need, the men need to do with their penises? Every, you need everyday yawning. Okay. What do the men need you to need do? You need yawn aerobics oh to God. get that thing back right. For real, for real. But um, I mean, but I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know. For men, we don't have to worry about any stretching or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's a different. It's a different organ, different dynamic. But but ladies, just know as far as men are concerned, um, we we are big on numbers. Okay. Um, okay. We are big on numbers. No, no dude really want to be with a woman that's been with a whole lot of men. Especially- What's that mean though for you? If you hear that and you hear a woman's, for instance, because I can just use us, right? Say I came to you and I said I, I slept with two hundred people. Like, what's that mean for you? Like, what, what, what do you hear when I say two hundred? Well, it's a couple of things, y'all. You guys, because when she would have said that, I would have probably been sitting here doing a Static Flow podcast with somebody <laughs> so else because I wouldn't be sitting up here with nobody <laughs> with two two hundred bodies on them. So that's the first thing. But what I mean, um, no, like you oh, automatically think something. What do you oh, think? Ho, tramp, loose. That's terrible. You know, I'd have been like, why? Yo, why can't you, I just be you was sexually wilding? free and just want is to- that really what that is? Being yeah. sexually free, or is that being a nifo? When men do it, it's like, oh, that's yeah. just a man. He's just so. Now, see, his this wild is where the oats. line gets blurred why for can't you a guys. Women do that. This is where the lines are blurred because the the spirit of a man. For for sex is totally different than the spirit of a woman. Who's who's who told you that? But everybody knows that. That's who the, the fuck is everybody? But everybody. Who is everybody? All of them people out there right now. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> All of them people out there right now. Listen. It's a difference. It's no. it's a difference. Well, break it down. Make me make me understand. It's a difference, man. Like women, women, y'all y'all have a switch to you guys where you guys can cut your switch off, and women can say, you know what, I'm gonna go two years without having sex, and mm-hmm. when y'all hit that button, bam, it's off. Y'all going two years. But not years. all women can do that. You know what I'm saying? No, but it's not no men that can do that, though. We're, we're talking zero men that can say, oh, I'm going to go two years. Because you know every man? Yeah, and they're, they're not, we're not doing that. You don't know that. We're, we're, we're not, we're, we're not doing statement that. And you don't I'm, know that I'm to going be true. based off the statistics of what's been proven Where in the past. Where are your statistics? The stats of men. And Where? How men run around here. What Just is your source? Offset and Ray J as a perfect example. <laughs> that's, that's two statistics right there. Men no, that married, got fine women at home, but they still out here hitting the honeys in the club and in the strip club. You that's because y'all have this ego thing. You got thing with fine y'all. women out there. Is it really ego or yeah. is it a burning? hunter's desire to hunt we are the hunters okay in every form and fashion and that especially when it comes to women (laughs) (laughs) i'm just saying we're the hunters we're out here hunting you know what i'm saying but you didn't answer my question so you did a little bit so if i told you 200 your automatic thought is whole trap boom boom, boom, it's not happening i'm gonna hit it so you're not i'm gonna be 201 and i'm out and so that's not a relationship. <laughs> I'm gonna be two oh one and about. What's wrong with you? I'm just saying, I'm keeping it real. Two oh one, sign but me why up. You, you I'm gonna let wife, the next man deal with that. You could wife that? Why? Not at all. What, not what, at all. Why? T- tell me why. The I don't numbers, understand. look at the stats. This ladies, it's like basketball. You don't want no play on your team that's over two hundred. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's 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 crazy. You know what I'm but saying? But what does it matter? That was before you. It doesn't that but hey. All right, let's let's go back to what they say. When they say you have sex with that person without protection, <laughs> you have sex with every person that they've been with. So I'm I'm if I've been with one person, once I be with you, I'm two oh one. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> That's not it. All right, so let me okay. That's not it. Two hundred and one, I'm in. Boom. Let's bring it back. <laughs> But hold on, no, I'm glad you oh said that. Before God. you said that, so you're willing to have sex and be 201, but you're not willing to wife it. You already yep. didn't have sex with the other 200 people. Yeah. So what, what yeah. do it matter now? That's on my watch. That's on my time. 
And that's and that's from the man. That's why I said it's, it's different rules. It's set up different for men. All right, so let me ask you this. It's set question. up different for men. Let Sexually. Me everybody this. know that. Every woman knows Stop saying everybody. I don't know who the fuck everybody is. All the people looking right here, no, right it's now. Not. Everybody knows that if a woman goes out and sleep with a lot of men, she is labeled a hoe. That's but just that this, mean that's just society labeled it. That's you, just what it's been. Just because society says it and it's supposed to be this that's rule. Right. That doesn't mean you gotta follow the rule and go back but just because just everybody automatic. say it. No, it's, it's just not. automatic. It's automatic. It's just like the, like the company you keep you stress if, a, me out. If, if if it's four women and all four women is hoes and you the fifth woman and y'all go out to the club they're gonna see five hoes they're not gonna be like well it's four hoes and that one girl right who there don't they? know who she is everybody that's out there watching right now to be baby in the club. stop saying they okay <laughs> okay they the same people dj Khaled be talking about listen but anyway <laughs> but, <laughs> shout out to Khaled. but um but that's just the difference but if a man goes out and he he pimping he's Sleeping with women, he's pimping. And and women, some of y'all out there are attracted to men that are players and can pull a lot of women. Y'all find something attractive about that when a man is just like that, when he got the game like that. Some women are attracted to that. Can I ask you a question? Talk to me. How many is too many for you? I'm just curious. What is the no- What's my what is number? your magic number where it's just like, I can't do that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I might be willing to deal with some low double digits, you know, but it got to be like some low double digits, you know. I mean, 10 would be the great max, but that's still a lot. But, you know, if it's a, if it's a spread it out 10, you know, when you was 18 and, you know, you might did so when you was 20 and 21 and you got in college, you know, you, could, you know, spread it out 10 like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like crazy numbers, fifty and sixty and well, can I just say I'm gonna say this to you too? That's crazy because on a female. A female shouldn't even want that. But because of how y'all think, that's how my vagina. That is why females <laughs> lie about their number because Boom. they why females don't, do what? Why females do that, what? Uh, hold on, let me let me reiterate L-word. that. Lie. That is why some females lie about their number because you men with y'all fragile ass egos can't take the high. But number. tell the damn truth. Tell the truth and let it be what it is. If you've been with 200 men, stand behind that and say that's what it is. But we, but but we wouldn't man, have a problem doing that. It's just your reaction to it. So then why it. women get mad when men lie to get to get the ass? Because if y'all going to lie and not give us the real number, then when we lie to get the ass, y'all like, why you lie? Just tell me the truth. Come on, man. Like, like let's, let's do a I'm truth for a truth. truth. Regardless, I, Let's do I would a truth t- for a truth, ladies. Man. Tell your number. Don't be ashamed of your number. Yeah, and, and men, well, if hey, y'all just proud. trying to have sex proud, or fuck, ladies. just say that too. Ooh, I got busy. I was in there working out. I, two at a time, three at a time, four at a time. Put the numbers out there. Yeah, five but then at a time. It's, but then, it's, then y'all gonna be like, nah. Yeah, it's, I mean, we gonna have fun with you. We gonna be friends. We gonna be we gonna be side piece buddies or you know play buddies. But get to the ring. Get to the, the to the championship circle. I don't. I don't know. It's gonna take a while for you to. That's terrible. That's that is. Blame terrible. that on yourself. Don't blame that. What's if you out here putting up numbers, blame it on yourself. If you if you put yourself in the in the whole category or the high number, but high why mileage. Why does that have to be? A if you hoe. join the high mileage club, that's on you. Why does that? Why does a woman who have sex with multiple people or have a high number considered a hoe? I don't know. Why I, didn't, I didn't put that out there. Why that's what society that, society no, put that out there. No, stop talking about society because you got your own fucking mind. You be a know, you are a free thinker. I know, thinker. but I'm, I'm agreeing with society. To, high numbers equals hoeism. Why? Why can't they just be sexually free and want to experience sex? Hoism. Hoonomics. <laughs> what? what? I'm just saying. I'm finished. That's what that's what it is. That's just what it is too. You would feel that way too if a girl if you knew if you knew a girl and she was sleeping, she came and said, I slept with a different dude every day for a whole month mm-hmm. for thirty days. Mm-hmm. That's not home. You're gonna say, know. "Oh my God, you're such a great free spirit." No, I would want to know why. Because <laughs> if she be came like, to me and she you said, need a "If she came to me, <laughs> Go ahead, if she came to you, if she came to me and said, like, I just really like to have sex. I like to experience new partners. You damn then I'd right. be like, okay. You but if she came right. she to like me experience. and she was just like, I don't know, you know, I think they love me. Like, that's a deeper she, issue there. She damn but if, right. If, if that's like what you want to do, then do you it. You doing that 30 in a month, you damn right. She is beyond like the experience. She so, is, dudes, so dudes that have sex one day is fast out of and the, furious. each day out of the month, who do you call them? <laughs> Player from the Himalaya all day. 
Macadocious. Macology. You making my hair. Macomatics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping bombs today. What my hold on. What my what my joint is? <laughs> I'm dropping bombs Maybe today. No. <laughs> Like I really got a headache now. You made me have a headache. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got a headache. You know what I'm saying for real. But we just hey. I mean just I'm I'm gonna say this, ladies. Yeah. Let me okay. Hear it. Make it good. Because <sighs> I'm pretty sure we probably went over time today. Yeah. Come on, make it good, Bring ladies. It home. If you're trying to get to the ring, okay, you got to watch your numbers. Okay. If you are headed for double digits numbers right now, figure it out. Okay. Figure it out. Well, <laughs> if let me you are already at high double digit numbers, triple digit numbers. You got to go out here, get you some Yanni steams, and Yanni. get it, pull it back together. They got the vaginal rejuvenation treatments. Get you some of those. Let the dude know. Put you put your numbers on the table. Listen, I've been with 500 men, but look, I done got 200 Yanni steams, and right now I'm back. Okay? I got snap back, and I'm good right now. I got that Cardi B and Megan, and we are ready to go. Okay? And let him give it a test ride. Once he test ride it, if it feel like the Yanni Steams helped out, then you might can get to the ring. But the main thing is, is watch your number count. Keep the numbers low. Value yourself, ladies. Don't just let any dudes sleep with you just because they got bank, got money, balling like that. You feel like that's a way to get to the money. Mm -hmm. Don't do it just for that I reason right that. there. Like, figure it out. And then if you are a nympho, go buy you a man doll vibrator and, and, and have sex with that. Yeah. Or if, if not, go join a sex cult somewhere and, and do that and just, just hang out with them for the rest of your life. Figure right. that out. Listen, my final say about this is that. What is what is that? Women should be able to have sex with however many people they want and not have this stigma or label plastered on their forehead, right? Men should not hold that number and be like, Oh, if it's a she a hoe, I can't do this, I can't do that. No. Women, if you want to be sexually free, do that. However, there is a caveat to that. Don't have sex for people thinking you're going to get oh, something out of it. Because that's like on the verge of being a prostitute. Like, if you want to have sex, do it because that's something you want or you just feeling that person. Don't do it for a purse or a car, or don't do it because he said he loved you the second day that he met you, because all that shit is bullshit. Do it because that's something that you really want to do, and that's your sexual attraction, and I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> that's my final thing. You know what I mean? Hey, ladies. Uh, hey, figure out how to control your inner hoe. If it's going on within you, you battling them demons, But in the meanwhile, let, let, let dudes just do them. Just... I mean, we've been doing this forever since the caveman days. Since we've been dragging them into the cave back in the day. How do you, you know, know that? I mean, for real, for real. That's why, I, that's why in certain countries, men can marry more than one woman. Because they already know what it is. Shout out to all the countries that's letting them do that. Marry mad joints, you know? To, to that's sa what you want to do? Let me ask you something real quick. Satisfying the, the, the male hunger. Letting them know that, hey, man, this is what we do over here. That's what's going on. Let me ask you something. Huh? Would you want to have more than one wife or partner? If it could be 12 tikas, yeah, I'm down <laughs> for that. To all 12 tikas right now. Let's go. <laughs> I'm Sign serious, them up. though. Sign them up. Would you? 12 tikas, yeah. No. Five tikas. You don't think that would be like a headache? It's Five like trying tikas. to keep up with all these different women and their <laughs> different personalities and all that stuff. Wouldn't that be more of a headache than a, something that's pleasurable? I mean, I mean, it probably would be. Um, I mean, be, a lot of dudes would probably be up for the challenge just to see. I would, If I did, it had to be a trial period where I could get right out of it. Let me just test it out, see how I like it. Then if it's not hot, then, you know, boom. So you have more than one wife? No, nah, I'm not really with that. I'm, I'm, I'm content. <laughs> <laughs> I am totally content. I am, you call you me Dave said, Hollister. I'm a you, one woman man. You just said that Shout you have a Dave trial Hollister. run. Hmm? That is the shit. You want a trial run? All right. <laughs> hey, this this is this is good entertainment. This is an entertainment podcast. This is great entertainment. It's <laughs> <laughs> great entertainment, you guys. Hey, yo, but um, it, 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 yo, another great show. A lot of great topics. Yes. Um, if you guys have a topic that you want us to discuss on Static Flow, um, make sure you hit us up in the DM. Um, yep. The Static Flow Podcast on Facebook. Yes. The Static Flow Podcast on Instagram. Yes. Follow, like the pages, and then just hit us up with a DM and tell us, you know, a topic that y'all want to hear us discuss, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll talk about it right here, yeah, right, right, right here yeah. on the Static Flow. We're always open for new stuff. And make sure you um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which has all the episodes on there. Uh, this is episode six, so yes. Static Flow Podcast. Hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, mm -hmm. and let everybody know what it tell is. Tell your friends. Yeah, man, and uh, rock out with us, and we'll be back. 
again soon. Episode uh, seven this time. Yeah, next yeah, time. When we come back, man. Static Flow Bye. Podcast, man. Make sure I get my buttons right. We are out.